Hello, I'm Ron Clark, bringing you part six in my commentary on the Book of Aries. Today, we'll talk about the second work of the magic of essential meaning, emulating essential meaning. Now, this is a work of emulation magic, where you take on a certain vibration, thought, idea, feeling, whatever, and emulate it, become it, essentially, and then project it to uh, other things, to influence other things. Um, essentially, what we're doing here is the same thing we did with the vital energy, the, the elements and the fluids in initiation to hermetic, hermetics, um, the colors, and feelings and KTQ, etc. We're taking something that before had been just a philosophical idea, okay? And we're turning it into a substance. We're, we're making it something that we can manipulate and use and project. We do that through emulating it, becoming it, taking it into ourself. So just like with the vital energy, the elements, the fluids, etc., what we want to do is take an L, an, a particle, a particulate bit of essential meaning that we have perceived, okay, and become that. We want to uh, imagine ourselves as a hollow space in an infinite universe filled with that particulate essential meaning, just like we did with the elements. We saw ourselves as an empty space in an ocean, an infinite universe filled with the fire element. And we drew the fire element into ourselves. So we're going to do that with the particular essential meaning. Draw it into ourselves. Fill ourselves with that particular essential meaning till we become that essential meaning and we begin to radiate that essential meaning. We want to accumulate it just like the vital energy and the fluids and the, and the elements. We want to accumulate it in our bodies to such degree that we, we we radiate that essential meaning, a particular essential meaning. Then we want to learn how to project that accumulation of essential meaning outward and give it a shape. Okay. That is the exercise, the beginning exercises uh, of the second work. Then we move on to the composite essential meanings that we perceive, we want to do the same thing with the composite essential meanings. We want to draw them into ourselves to such a degree that we are radiating in a dynamic accumulation and then learn to project that composite essential meaning and give it shape. Okay? Same things we did with the vital energy and the elements, and the fluids, and the colors, and the feelings, etc. We use our creative imagination. Now, <clears throat> I'll give you an example. For a particular essential meaning, I'll take the reflection, the, the reflectability, the shininess, shall we say, of this crystal. And I'll draw that essential meaning from the universe into myself. And I'll build that essential meaning in myself, make that accumulation dynamic. Now I have transformed that philosophical thing, that perception of the shininess, into a substance like vital energy like the elements, the fluids, etc. 
and I have filled myself dynamically with that essential meaning. And to such a degree that I begin to radiate that essential meaning into the surrounding areas, being radiated with the particular essential meaning of shininess. That essential meaning of shininess. And then I project that essential meaning of shininess. And I give it form. I make it into a sphere of shininess, the essential meaning of shininess, and I let it dissipate, okay? That's a particular essential meaning. Now for <clears throat> a composite essential meaning, say in your day-to-day -day experience, you encounter someone doing a very generous act. So I take the composite essential meaning of that act of generosity and I bring it into myself and fill myself so that I am radiating that composite essential meaning of generosity and then I project it outwards and form it into a sphere. Okay? And then I let it dissipate. So this is what you have to do here. Learn to emulate any essential meaning you encounter. Every essential meaning that you encounter, you must be able to emulate, bring it into yourself, become that essential meaning, and project it outwards, either through radiation or through direct, direct uh, projection. And do that with any uh, particular essential meaning, or every particular essential meaning you can, as well as every composite essential meaning that you can, until it becomes second nature and very, very easy to do. Okay? That prepares you for the third work in the magic of essential meaning, which will be next time. Okay, bye bye.